Today we'll be unboxing the Turbo Wheel Lightning. This video will cover both the Lightning and the Lightning Plus. In the box you'll find a 58.8V 2A charger for the Lightning or a 67.2V 2A charger for the Lightning Plus. With this standard charger, charging from empty to full takes about 6 hours. The keys, a hex key set, and a paper manual are also included. Refer to the electronic manual for the most up to date info. The Lightning and Lightning Plus differ in a few key ways. The Lightning is equipped with a pair of two 1000 watt motors, while the Lightning Plus has a pair of dual 1200 watt motors. This provides superior acceleration, climbing power, and a few miles per hour higher max speed. Depending on the rider's weight and battery level, upwards of 40 miles per hour. The Plus has a larger battery and operates at a higher voltage. On the battery side, the standard Lightning has a 957 watt hour battery pack using high grade Chinese cells, which provides about 20 to 25 miles at 20 miles per hour with a 170 pound rider. While the Lightning Plus has a 1,256 watt hour battery with an estimated 30 to 35 miles range under the same conditions. Please note that using the scooters on a hilly environment will dramatically reduce the estimate range mileage. In addition to the improved motor performance and larger battery pack, another upgrade of the Lightning Plus is the folding handlebar. This permits the scooter to occupy less space in the folded position for transporting in the trunk of a car or in limited storage space. To raise the stem, lift it up. Lock it in place with the latches on the clamp. You may need to tighten the reverse side screws of the latch. To lower the stem, unlock the latches and raise the clamp. Fold the stem down. The handlebar mount uses four bolts. Before tightening, check that the angle is comfortable for you. Tighten the bolts in sequence a little at a time to make sure force is distributed evenly. On the Lightning Plus, there's two plastic shims that fit on the handlebar before mounting. Get two of the bolts hand tight before installing the other bolt. Tightening the back bolts first and then the front bolts. To lower the handles, push the silver button to open the clamp. Close the clamp to lock the raised handles. Here are some tips to help with common clamp problems. Applying some lubrication to these areas helps with squeaking, reducing wear, and reducing stickness of the elbow action. The two grub screws in the front and bottom of the stem determine the angle of the stem. Tighten the screws to increase the angle. Loosen the screws for the stem to be more vertical. Screwing in the nut on the other side of the latch will tighten the latch and the lock. This keeps the stem steady. Tighten all of the other handlebar elements so that they're comfortable for riding. Tighten both brakes, the ignition, the dash, and the grips. The Plus has different grips that should still be tightened. We recommend inflating the tires to 40 to 45 PSI. Any bike or car inflator fitted Schrader type pump will work. You may need to let out some air in hot weather and add more air in cold weather. The scooter is tuned for a rider weight between 170 and 200 pounds. To give you a softer ride, you can turn the tuning gear counterclockwise. Tightening the spring will provide a harder ride. The Lightning features two charge ports that can be used simultaneously. Either port can be used as they are connected together internally. Using the standard charger, plug the charger into the wall first. Check that the LED is green. Line up the charger with the port so that the dimple is lined up. The LED turns red while charging and turns back to green when the scooter is full. The rapid charger can charge the scooter to 80% in two hours versus the standard charger's six. The rapid charger also has some enhanced function including variable current output from one to five amps, max percent charge setting, and voltage amp readout. The battery can take up to 6.5 amps at a time, using both the standard and rapid chargers together. More amps will charge the battery faster. As the battery approaches full, the amp readout will decrease. Lithium battery packs have reduced degradation if they are kept partially charged. The max charge toggle setting sets the rapid charger at the specified 80, 90, 100%. To get the most battery lifespan from your scooter, it's recommended to use 80 to 90% settings for shorter trips and the 100% option if you're planning to extend extrusion. 
Both the Lightning and the Lightning Plus now come with hydraulic brakes. If the brakes are squeaking after your first ride, here's how to calibrate them. Loosen the two bolts holding the caliper to the mount. Center the caliper on the disc. While holding the caliper still, tighten the two bolts holding the caliper to the mount. Tighten the top screw first. Using the included key, turn the ignition right to set the unit to standby. The readout shows the current voltage of the scooter. An advantage to referring to the voltage over the battery bar meter is that it provides a more precise reference point of the state of charge. The standard and plus will show different readings. Once the ignition is on, you can turn the dash on. At this point, you can ride your scooter. To turn the lights on, hold down the mode button. The brake lights will still flash even when the other lights are off. To change gears, hit the mode button. There are three gears, with one being the slowest and three being the fastest. The dash is where you can change any internal settings. Hold the power and mode buttons to get into the settings. To change the display brightness, change P1 by pressing the mode button. To change the mile per hour setting, press the power to get to P2 and press the mode button. To activate cruise control, change P17 to 1. Cruise control activates while maintaining a consistent speed of 5 seconds or more. In order to cancel the cruise control, either engage the brake lever or touch the throttle. The red button toggles between single and dual motor mode. We recommend using dual motor mode to share the work between the motor's two internal controllers. There is no appreciable range benefit in using the scooter in single motor mode. The yellow button toggles economy mode on and off. This brings the max speed down on every gear to conserve battery life. We hope that this video guide has helped you set up your brand new Lightning or Lightning Plus with minimal hassle. You have many years of easy riding and minimal maintenance to look forward to. While your scooter is replaceable, you are not. So please always ride responsibly and wear a helmet at all times.